he's, cool. he's going to be company for you. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So since it's a new show, I just yes. like everybody to sort of describe their character, okay. talk about who they are, what makes okay. them special. Absolutely. Um, I play Dr. Paul Cummings. He's a very young, uh, very eager resident, uh, year one resident actually, and the first episode is his first day on the job, I believe. Uh, so he's a very book smart guy, uh, very eager and, and, and sensitive, and, and uh, I don't think he really knows yet how to relate with actual people and patients, and so that's kind of a, a shock to him. Uh, actually seeing real live wounds as opposed to wounds in a textbook. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's just kind of adjusting to being in an actual hospital and, and figuring out if he's, you know, up to snuff and, and uh, you know, how his relationships are going to be with all the people around him because uh, I think he's the only one that hasn't been around people as much and, and you know, there's a lot of hazing that goes on. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, how do I take that? And, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a very interesting character because he always finds himself in really crazy situations. So mm -hmm. <laughs> that's been fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we see uh, um, he's uh, kind of the butt of, the, of a couple of jokes. Quite a few, sure. Yeah. Does <laughs> yeah. he ever get some payback? Is he, he ever going to turn you know, that around? I think so. He tries. He mm -hmm. does definitely try. He tries to get in on the act. It rarely goes well. Uh, usually there's something that goes wrong with that. So it's either him actually getting pranked or him trying to prank someone else and then it just... You know, when you're not used to doing that, it just usually backfires on you. So yeah. we'll see. Eventually, he's gonna he's gonna get some money back. Is he still? Are they still continuing to mess with him, or do they ever let up and kind of you know accept that he's a professional? He knows what he's doing, or is he? Yeah, well, I mean, I think I think he's earning a lot of respect for what he's doing. You know, he's he's actually doing somewhat well in in, in the field <laughs> and and uh, taking care of. You know, patience. He kind of steps up, he, even if he's not always excited to do the hard stuff. And, you know, he gets the job done uh, most of the time. Mm -hmm. But um, I think there's a level of respect that's earned, and so that's coming along. But you know, he's also like a little brother to a lot of the characters, so it's always fun to you know give him a little ribbing every once in a while. So totally. that's that's always going to be there, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, we see on the show that there's the people who like to follow the rules and right. have to instruct, uh, re, you know, enforce them, and then we have the group that sort of doesn't follow the rules. How, where does he fall right now, and do you think that will ever change for him? I think he's actually maybe someone in the middle, though. I think he is maybe closer to the following the rules side. Mm -hmm. I think that's all he knows, but he very much admires the people that can go around, you know, the rules to get the job done. So mm -hmm. he's kind of figuring that out. You know, he's used to following rules, but the, all the people that he looks up to are, are constantly doing stuff and saving lives and not necessarily going, you know, by the rules to do it. So he's he's definitely noticing that, and every once in a while he breaks out of his, his little shell and, and uh, takes charge, and, and he, sometimes you have to, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. Um, who who's he? Who you, would you say he is admiring the most out of the group right now? Who's well, he, he definitely he, he a, a big part of the reason why he chose the hospital was to you know be under TC, who's an amazing mm -hmm. uh, doctor, and uh, so he, I think he always admires him. And then you know you just kind of see everybody on on staff. Jordan, you know, Jill Flynn is is you know amazing at what she does. So every time you're learning under someone and you see the crazy stuff that they're able to do that you've just read about, it's it's always a uh, a nice thing and you know brings about a, a lot of admiration. Uh, so I think he admires everyone that he's learning under, but definitely TC is just you know he's kind of he's a rock star to him. So it's it's nice now. A little starstruck. Yeah, maybe a, little a little bit. bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say are going to be his biggest challenges this season? I would say finding his his self confidence. Um, because I think he's kind of thrown for a loop in this environment. Uh, he's always been top of his class, that sort of thing. But being in the real thing and focusing on real patients has been completely out of out of his uh, his loop. So I think finding his self confidence and then and his his authority and then finding what he wants is his route to be. I think he's always had things planned out for him, what he was going to be, and you know once he's actually in the field, figuring out where he belongs is, is a big part of it. And then also just you know getting in on the act as far as the fun in the hospital as opposed to being the butt of the joke, kind of getting in on it and, and uh, relaxing a bit more because mm -hmm. yeah, it's very you know, tense and, and yeah. awkward most of the time. So. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. 